Verde with County Systems and today we're going to be making a fleece scarf. You'll notice that I already got started on the project. We did one side and since we do both of them the same, I'm going to show you just how I press this. You can do a full bleed scarf, but you'll want to contact our printing services just in case you don't have a press large enough. So let's get started. First, I have my scarf. I have the image that I'm going to put on the other side. Sticky lint roller. I have a piece of foam from our vapor foam kit and a couple sheets of protective paper. What I'm going to do first is move over to my press. This is where most of the action will happen. Grab my foam kit, place it on the bottom, add a sheet of protective paper. And it's very important that we put the foam on the bottom or that we at least put a sheet of protective paper over the foam. This is going to help with any transfer ink from your excess bleed area so that it's not getting soaked into your foam because then when you go to press again, that ink could reheat and ruin a different substrate that you're trying to press. So always make sure foam underneath. Grab the side of my scarf. Sticky lint roll. You want to make sure that you thoroughly sticky lint roll your fleece because fleece is a material that will hold lint. So it's very easy to distort your image if you're not careful. So what we're going to do next is grab a sheet of protective paper for our top. And one of the primary reasons why we're going to pre-press on the fleece too is if there's going to be any kind of shrinking with this material, a quick 5-10 second pre-press will help get it all to shape and then we'll be able to actually apply our image. So 400 degrees with fleece, always be sure to use very light pressure and we're going to do it for 5-10 to 10 seconds. Once you've finished with your pre-press, we're going to lift and swing away. Again, we're going to sticky lint roll while it's warm. Sometimes it almost seems easier to do it this way. The pre-press is great because, especially with materials like fleece, if they're going to shrink a little bit, the pre-press will get them down to the size they need so that when we're pressing our image, it doesn't come out all distorted. Now that I've finished with my sticky lint roll, grab my image and you'll notice we're not going to use any heat tape or pro spray. So I'm going to line it up as best as I can, check my edges, make sure I get my entire area covered. that in place. Grab my sheet of protective paper again for my top. Light pressure, 400 degrees, and we're going to hold it for 30 seconds. And that sound means we're done, so we're going to lift and swing away on our press. Move our top sheet of protective paper and peel back on our transfer. And you can see all the ink that would have gotten soaked into our vapor foam kit. So it's a good thing we use that. And that should complete our project. We just finished our fleece blanket. And remember, you can do a full bleed. If you don't have a press large enough, contact our Condi agents who will happily help you with our printing services. And for more of our products and services we have at Condi, including more fleece items, be sure to check out our website at condi.com and watch more of my videos at condytv.com. I'm Brittany with Condy Systems, and thank you for joining us.